Hey YouTube, it's Rob here. Hey, um, I was kind of cruising around YouTube a little while ago and I realized that there is not an App Inventor 2 tutorial that's any good that really teaches you how to uh, save a canvas and then load a canvas. Uh, I saw some stuff that teaches you how to do it on text, but I didn't really see anything good for graphics on the canvas. So that's what I'm going to show you here in this tutorial. So I already have up the new the new project. I'm going to call this project Paint, and I'm going to kind of make uh, my version of the Paint uh, the Paint Pot program that's so popular in um, you know the, all the tutorials. But I'm going to make it, I'm going to do things a little bit different. So first, I'm going to add my horizontal arrangement. And I'm going to make buttons for the colors. So the first one I want to make blue. I'm going to rename that one Button Blue. Okay, then the second one. Oh, and I'm going to change the background to that to blue. And then I'm going to do this for a few different colors here. Oops. All right, I'm going to do green for this one. Then I'm going to do yellow for this one. Then I'm going to do red for this one. And then I'm going to do black for the last one. I'm always good at that. Always missing the horizontal arrangement. I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. So those are my colors I have set up. Now I'm going to do another horizontal arrangement on this one. I didn't do a table arrangement just because they're not going to be even. So that's why I decided to do two horizontal arrangements on this one. Uh, the first button I'm going to make it say clear. The second button is going to be my save button. And then my third button is going to be my load button. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to rename all the rest of these. I started out with the doing it with the first one, but then I just wanted to get them all done, so I figured I'll just come back and name them all now. And it's always a good idea to have all, especially when you're doing a lot of buttons like this. It's always a good idea to have them named. I like to put BTN at the beginning of my buttons and then capitalize uh, the first word after it, so it kind of makes it a little bit easier to read. And I know it's a button just by when I look at it in the blocks editor. Okay, so this one now we're going to rename to button clear. This one's going to be button save. And this one's going to be button load. Okay, now I'm going to put a canvas on here. Drop that in right like that. I'm going to make both the height and the width fill parent. Okay. So then I'm also going to go and I'm going to add a tiny DB to this. And you'll see that's a non-visible component. I didn't rename the canvas because I only have one. I didn't rename the tiny DB because I only have one. And uh, I didn't rename either of the horizontal arrangements. Even though I have two of them, I don't really need to do anything with those right now. But all I'm really concerned about is the buttons. So at this point, my user interface is set up. So now I'm going to go into the blocks editor. And I'm going to set up all these buttons. So button blue, I'm actually going to bring this out here. And then I go into canvas. And I'm going to go set canvas paint color. Two, and you'll see the colors over here, and you have different options. So blue is an option there. So then I'm going to do the same thing for all the rest of the buttons, but all I have to do really is duplicate them, choose green, and then green. Now I do apologize, I'm not always good with shades of color, so I'll do my very best. If I get it wrong and I think it's right, I'm very sorry about that. All right, yellow. 
yellow, red, red, black, and black. Okay, so these are my color buttons. They're all set up now. So now I can, I have it so that I can choose a different color out of the buttons that we set up there. Just organize this just a little bit. Okay, so now I want to do my other buttons that I have. I have the three buttons. I have the button click, I'm sorry, <laughs> the button save, the button clear, and the button load. And I also have to draw on the canvas. But first I want to do these three buttons here. And these are going to be the magical ones that are, are where this one's just for clearing, but the next two are going to be the magical ones where it actually saves and loads um, the canvas. So you'll see what I mean. So on canvas one here to clear it, you just do clear. But now, one thing I'm going to add to this is in order to load this back in out of the tiny DB, I have to do a background image on it. So the other thing I want to do here is do set background image. And then I want to go up here to text. I want to put the empty text so that way I have both ends of it covered. Now, if we go to button save, okay, we're going to come over, we're going to come here and we're going to start dragging some of the tiny db stuff into this. So tiny db, and we want to go to tiny db.store value. The tag is going to be what the database tag is for it, uh, basically what the uh, database identifies it as. So I'm just going to put this here. I'm going to put my pick. And then the value to store, we're going to go to canvas. We're going to go to call canvas1.saveas. And then we're going to give it a file name. So we go back up here to text. We get this blank text. And I'm going to call it my pick. Oops. Dot PNG. So that's all you got to do to save it. Now to load it, I bring this down. Then I'm going to go to set canvas background image. I'm going to set that to the tiny db get value. Now I'm going to duplicate this little text button or uh, text block here. I'm going to make that tag the same one that I used right here. So actually, I could just duplicate that one if I'd like. So just duplicate that, drag that over, okay. And then if the file name is not there, you want to you want to leave it blank, okay. So there there's only one thing left I have to do, and that's to actually set up the drawing for uh, the actual canvas. So I'm going to collapse these two right here just to kind of get them out of the way because this is going to be a big block here. But when you go to canvas and then you go to canvas.dragged, then we go back to canvas and we're going to do draw line. Now you're going to see x1, y1, x2, y2. The ones are the previous, the twos are the current. So we just hover over previous x, pop that in there. Previous y, the same thing. Then we do current X, and we do current Y. Okay, so that is the setup for our program. I'm going to pause this a minute, load the emulator, and then I'll be back to show you this on the emulator. All right, the emulator is loaded, so you can see this is what the app's going to look like. So if I choose blue, I can draw a line. Green, I can draw a line. Yellow, draw a line can't see yellow too good. Red, draw a line. Black, draw a line. And then I'll just come back to blue and do another one. Now, I hit the save button and I hit clear. So it clears it out. So then all I do is I hit the load button and the what we just made loads. So that shows that it actually works. So what we did was we drew something, we saved it and we loaded it. Now here's what else we can do if we hit clear. I hit green, and um, I'll put my name. 
I'm not the best drawer, so I do apologize if this doesn't look good. Alright, but there's my, my name is Rob, so now I hit save, I'll hit clear, and I'll hit load, and it loads it again. So it actually overwrote the other one, and now put that one. Um, I mean, it's it's really, really, really neat. Just do something strange here. I just want to show that this is this is pretty cool how this works. Clear it out, load it. Now, one thing I do want to show you is when if I draw on here, just scribble anything like that, hit clear. That's where this call canvas one dot clear comes in. But if I do the high, just draw high like this, put a dot there just because. Well, it's not going to work with the dot because I have a line. But anyway, um, I would set to draw lines. But now if I do that and I hit save, it'll still clear. But the difference is, is when I hit load, remember we're loading that into the background image of the canvas. So we're making the background what this is. So if I would take away this here, the background image to nothing, it wouldn't actually clear it. So if I would just drag this out, let the emulator reset, and I hit clear, you see nothing happens. So when I put this back in, let the emulator reset, I hit clear, and you see it actually works. And I still load it, and it, it loads. So that is how you can actually go in, draw something on a canvas, save it, and load it. So I hope this helped you. and you can check out some more of my tutorials very soon. See you soon.